Okay. So we have a video to watch. Now I've I I played Honkai Star Rail bleh, Honkai Star Rail when it first launched originally, and don't get me wrong, I didn't mind it as such. But I've never I I'm very much somebody who has to be in the mood for like Genshin Impact and these kind of like weeby gacha games. But no one can ever deny that uh, Honkai and Genshin both have very very interesting animation departments, and I've been heavily recommended to watch this. So who knows? Maybe this will convince me to play it some more in the future. Either way, let's see what it's all about. Uh, this is the animated short Rondo Across Countless Colors. And uh, as I said, the, uh, I am always in a... Pr I, I may not play a game, but I am always happy to see good animation Hello there. and uh, good storytelling. So I'm, I'm going to watch this for that reason, if nothing else. And it's anime. So there better be some waifus. The remembrance is no different than the sea. Never gaze upon its surface on a starless night. Why does this look crusty? Why is this not 10 to 1080? <gasps> My wife! Waiting for someone. Okay, I'm not going to pause this, but I just want to say, this looks like the kind of person that would go, arara. Ara. <laughs> it's so anime. Isn't it canonically true that this that Genshin and Honkai dance. are in the same universe? Oh, this is beautiful though. It's supposed to be expected from a studio like uh oh yeah this. My gaze has lingered on her for quite a while. Oh, they're, be they're being they're being all cute and stuff. First engagement. The Galaxy Ranger as mysterious. Not a word, chat. Respectfully watching. If they want to be gauged, they can be gauged. I like me some anime waifus. And if my, if the, all the Yuri Dojinshis I watched uh, has taught me anything, this is going to be wholesome as fuck. As the rumors suggest, they're in love. The of nobility and reticence. I have to yeah. say though, the animation quality is gorgeous. Like the choreography. They they would have had to have studied some. That 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 I'm just I'm I'm blown away. This animation quality is gorgeous. Okay. In this nocturnal hunt, the ranger is not the only one who hunts. Why does nobody dance with me like this? At this distance. Why won't somebody dance with me like this? Somebody make me their dance partner and treat me like the dance puppet I am. Without a doubt, she seeks the watchmaker's legacy. In this game, everyone. <gasps> Cute. But memories do not. Oh, the weebs are gonna have fun with this one. Oh, it's so pretty. It just keeps on getting better, doesn't it? Everyone has a past, and the past shapes the present. On a, on, a, on, a, on a spectrum, guys, comment down below or in my chat right now, between 1 and 100, how much fan service do you think there is going to be of this little animation? Because, <laughs> God. <laughs> it's not like, I don't mean to perverse everything. I really don't. But there is a certain level of <clears throat> about this. And I think, so, I think they are very self-aware of that. Like, not every like homoerotic relationship has to be perverse. But this is Genshin Impact, and they are very self-aware of the amount of hentai made about their game, so... <laughs> oh, hold on to uh, them, uh, uh, while others are haunted by them, unable to escape. That is why I took action. Very pretty, though. I want to know what she is. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna be a buck fifty. This is starting to remind me of my guy online role plays back in the day. <laughs> don't judge me! Don't judge me! I don't, I don't don't judge me. I I used to be very bored and alone. Guy online was my only outlet. Don't judge me about my role play standards. Many were drawn to this feat. Oh, it's such gorgeous yeah. animation. The choreography is beautiful. The Garden of Recollection. I don't even question Wolves. how much they would have had to have studied to get this Nameless. so square on. And the Annihilation. Game. They should have been present 
But kiss, kiss, Duncan kiss. Inferno is dead. He and his children won't be attending. What have you done, beautiful me, ranger? me? Do me? Let me be horny, damn it. Excuse me. Are you asking me? And then one of them grew a dick and it turned into Bible Black. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm starting to take a guess that this is like a metaphorical dance and it's actually them fighting and the dance is like, because like, it's all very symbolic. Like it's it's gone very menacing. It's gone very dark. It, I think it's more of a like a versus, like one side versus another. Initially, it was a small little dance, and now it's going very menacing and dire. And it's the more them trying to fight for their side. And they're doing a very good job of iconography on this, and representing things through subversive means. Oh, wow. Now, kiss. Who are the Annihilation Gang? That's what I want to know, too! <laughs> My gaze has lingered on her for quite a while. And tonight is our final engagement. A Galaxy Ranger? No. Galaxy Ranger? What is this? Power Rangers? Go, go, Galaxy Rangers! Do you know? I've made a grave mistake. Everyone has a past. Oh, zero some, out of ten. Shadow isn't moving. Their past Terrible animation quality. Abyss filled with those who drowned in it. Ah, oh, fuck, man. It's based in Birmingham. Damn it. <laughs> Bodies everywhere. Annihilation Gang. Annihilation Gang. Yeah. Oh. Like, I'm not- I- I'm normally not one to really, uh, enjoy, like, cliche anime tropes. Like, I love anime, don't get me wrong, but I prefer anime that's not, like, generic and, like, cliche and tropey. But I will give Honkai and Genshin, they have a very certain style to their, kind of, aesthetic that's very enjoyable. I very much like this Sort of, it is, it is totally cliche anime, but it's very, very pretty, incredibly artistic, and it's like a very high effort anime, and I truly appreciate that. Those guys. Damn, okay. Suggest. Ah, oh, this, so there's a lot going on here, and I feel like I'm missing certain levels of context, considering I haven't played the game in a while. But just, just from an artistic impression, the level of symbology with the music, counterbalanced with the movement and everything going on, it's so pretty. And I wish I could, I wish I could draw an anime style like this just for the sake of being able to. I have my own style. I'm, I, know, I know that I'll never be able to master an anime style. But this, this is the kind of art style I'd love to do if I was doing anime. The Ranger is not the only one who has. And for as much of a meme, for as much of a meme as Genshin and Honkai are, you know, being gacha games and everything, no one can ever deny that they put so much effort into these animations. At this distance, you're more enchanting than you seem. And it's it's really awesome to see. I I wanna I wanna take a moment to like appreciate how they squeezed such a tight-knit narrative into a small five-minute session. The thing is, when you've got these small, hard-hitting shorts, 
you need to make every second count. And they did. Every sec every single second of this animation is an artistic masterpiece. There's something happening, something to identify, something to analyze in every single scene. And the level of detail, animation prowess, and just quality in general, mwah, absolutely chef's kiss. This scene especially got me. Like, whenever I've seen something very anime generically related, it's usually all the same kind of like tones and vocal chords and whatever else and music musical tropes but the fact that it went with something quite dark and symbolic here and kind of pushed for a more um uh sort of classical vintage style uh violin styled music just it makes it hit so much harder like a ballroom dance having the symbology and like counterbalance of an actual battle trying to fight for like dominance in it, dominance in the in the in the dance itself i feel like th this as an animation in of itself with no context of Honkai or Genshin or whatever, is a, is a, a beautiful animation. I, I kind of want to watch some of the other stuff they've done, just to see what I've been missing. Just for the sake of a bit of, a bit of perspective, I feel like I'm probably going to play... I, I feel like I'm getting back into the mood for playing Honkai and Genshin, so who knows? Maybe I'll play this again at some point in the future, but I was also recommended this one as well, just to see what else they do. And I'm not one to turn down a bit of easy uh, mid-roll bait, so... Plus... Good animation quality that we can share. Oh my god, look, she's so kawaii. Is this? I would love to see a it's full movie made like this. People use in their traditional dance. <gasps> oh, look, guys, furries. Yo, based, based. We have furries. Lion's likeness. Put them on. You two will be performing shortly. Yes, Is there even a single male in the Honkai world? Like, is this like the average VTuber experience? Where are the men? Is there a single male? We live, we... <laughs> they live in a world populated entirely by uh, lesbians and female protagonists. Little boy, let's go. Wait a minute. Let me give them some eyes first. That's what brings them to life. All right, on with it. Oh, I know there definitely are, but you know they use the females for the uh, culturally Everyone. appreciative elements. Dragons. Oh my god, a male! A wild male! A wild male in an anime. We're second to none. You should all know, guys, that in, in the world of Honkai and Genshin, when boys turn 18, they all get sent off to the men pits, where men be men and get to stay away from all the women so that they can have brandability and marketability and sell sophisticated amounts of uh, fan service. Men are not allowed in the public eye unless they look like a twink or a fanboy. Okay, so this game has furries, that's cool. The Jade Gate shines in brilliant solar might. Both heaven and earth alike are bathed in light. Toward the sun, the dragon starts to soar, as echoing through the clouds, the lions roar. Very pretty art style. Great rains, the dragon shaketh from the skies, as tearing through the lands, the lion flies. Ooh. I love the fact they've gone for that very traditional, uh, like, oriental style. I can't remember the name of the actual art style in, in of itself. It's, it's like very... Uh, classic oriental uh, kimono art style, I think. I don't remember the name of it uh, off the top of my head, though. Wind and rain imbue the mountain air. Yeah, the water painting the without the other. Oriental uh, the Japanese style. style. In evil's grasp, the Sienjo Yeah, so, so screen painting. The land submerged in turgid evil. Ooh, pretty. Throughout the dells are felt the scars of war. Inviting wind and barren sands and more. The dragon, now deprived of water's home. The lion, weak from battle, all alone. 
Oh no, she died. Murdered the order ten to one. How then is the battle to be won? <laughs> and dude. Most people in the audience have superpowers and they're just sat there like, oh no! Like, it, when you play the game, most of these characters are jumping around like friggin' monsters, like, doosh, 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 like all anime jumps. Lady falls off a high stand. Oh no, guess she's gonna die, guys. Guess she's gonna die. anime very cool now kiss <laughs> yay! yay i don't know what happened yeah <laughs> why are we celebrating goddamn anime celebrating every single thing like it's a celebration a bit more tropey anime style but hey now technically this is a bit of bonus content but i wanted to really quickly watch uh the zen the zone equalizing test trailer as a point in prove uh, preference of like animation quality and why even though I'd, i'm not necessarily immersed in the genshin honkai universe as it were this animation right here is what makes me love this kind of like quality that goes into animation. The only reason, the only reason they had to make this trailer in particular was to prove how good at animation they are. I've not seen it in its fullest, but I want to watch it because he. <laughs> Hoyoverse? No one can ever deny Hoyoverse a good at animation. What the? Ah, yes, marketable plushies. Like, they had no right to go this hard on the animation, but they did. Ah, oh, they're so cute! It's a bear! <laughs> you know, when I said, uh, when I was, I, I, when I was looking for this, I asked my chat if they knew which game I was talking about when I was talking about the anime, the Genshin Impact game with the sexy furry. This is, this is what I meant. This is, this is what I meant. Oh, look, it's a, it's a, it's a Yandere. No, Yandere? Uh, Sundere. She's a Sundere. You know, I think this game's going to be pretty good, guys. <laughs> Average VTuber anatomy. Sheesh, dude, this animation. I, I don't even think she's like the best looking of the characters, but god damn, that animation quality. Look at the spin. Oh, that little hand motion. Dude, every single motion these characters are doing is just adorable. Neurons activated, neurons activated, neurons activated. <gasps> the furry is wearing stilettos. The furry is wearing stilettos. I have seen everything. And boy, he thick. Oh, now guys, they say that peak, they say that peak male VTuber design doesn't exist. Clearly they've not met this guy. Yo, Claude, thank you for the resub. So we've had Sundere, now we've got Yandere. <laughs> I need to get a design of Makari in a maid outfit, I swear to God. It's that, it, I, I swear to God though, it's that like dichotomy. The small sundere are usually quite petite and small, but the big, sorry, the small yandere are usually small and petite and quite angsty. The big sundere is usually the busty, uh, absurd one. Where's the kudere? Good question, I guess we'll find out. 
Ooh, monster foo. Dude, that, that monster design though, damn. Listen, guys, I'm not saying that I'm weak from disproportionate body parts and having certain limbs that are unnecessarily big or having unnecessarily amounts of arms. But if you have multiple arms, I will instantly simp for you. <laughs> ah, it was all VR. That makes sense. Wait, is that is that a robot waifu? Did they pander to my robosexuality? Uh, they friggin' did. They friggin' did. Shadow waifu. Oh, hello. Han, the, they got the cute little lot of the. All set. Yo, gamer girl. Actually, male characters in an anime. Who would have seen that coming? Or not. Our oh. client this time is. Bellabog Industries? What trouble have they gotten into? You can't do this to me. You you cannot make a busty tomboy character. You can't. You can't do this to me. I am weak. I am weak. Why do you <laughs> Music's a bop though. Oh my god, that design. I mean, okay, guys, degeneracy aside, there is something about incredibly capable tomboys in anime that just send me. Ah, uh, yes. My persona personified in an anime character. If my bratty, hyperactive, ADHD-ridden mind was an anime character, dual-wielding giant hammers, I think we'd find what it would look like. Are you ready? Sheesh! That is some goodness right there. I, th I don't think it's over though. It's like another 15 seconds. Giant monster. Giant monster foo. Giant monster foo! I don't even need to say it. I don't even need to say it. Guys, my monster fucker permit just came in. I am ready! Oh my god. So again, I, I am not particularly in line with these games. However, seeing stuff like this really makes me want to get myself immersed in the Honkai world. And I know that people prefer Genshin Impact, but there's something about the sci-fi universe of, of Star Rail that just hits me hard. And I know this technically isn't Star Rail. I know it's a separate game in of itself that's more about, like, action combat. I'm going to play this when it comes out. I am 100% playing this when it comes out. Mostly because it looks fucking batshit. Whereas Honkai is more about the story and more about the uh, progressiveness, this apparently is more about the combat. And with the way my ADHD neurodiversity uh, uh, neuron activation needs are required, I'd much rather have something that hits me with constant serotonin and dopamine rushes. I am waiting for the day that we get a fighter game in this universe and we have the Genshin characters, the uh, Honkai characters, the Zenless Zone Zero characters all fighting each other. One day. One day. So, that's the video, guys. Um, great animations. I, I, it's really inspired me to want to play these. If you guys have anything else in the Genshin Honkai universe that you think I should watch to maybe get myself more involved with them, then by all means, comment down below. I love these animations. They had no right to go that hard on that last one. But regardless of which, like, share, subscribe. I'll link the original videos down below, and I'll see all you guys next time. Bye-bye!